if we want to get literal, <laughs> I don't even give a fuck anymore. <laughs> Good morning, booze. I have to catch you guys up so, so much. And while I touch up my makeup, I'm gonna update you. Yes, I'm missing two fingernails. I have had quite the week and I'm gonna tell you guys what's been up. Obviously, I have not posted in a week and that's very unlike me during the Gabma season, especially since I was on a roll with posting every two to three days since November 1st, since Halloween. But before I get into what happened this past week, I do wanna let you guys know that I am doing a what I got myself for Christmas luxury edition in this vlog. So I'm gonna be doing a whole luxury haul for you. But I did go to New York City recently for an appearance and I did some damage. If, I, if you see me shaking, no, I'm okay. Um, I just had like the craziest asthmatic experience. Asthmatics that watch me understand what albuterol does to you. So I'm okay. This isn't even caffeine, this is water, but my albuterol like makes me shaky and that's why I'm touching up my makeup because I'm not really loving what I did this morning. So let me just start with some updates because obviously like I'm sitting here, I'm shaking, I'm bleach blonde. So those of you who watch Nikki and Gabby know that we've been posting like once a week again. So there is this one week, I think it was like the second week of December, the first two weeks of December, I was vlogging for fancy vlogs and I was also like pre-filming a ton of Nikki and Gabby videos because Nikki is going on vacation. So we needed to like get all that filming done. The only filming we haven't done yet is obviously our gift exchange, which we're filming on Christmas Eve. I felt like I was on such a roll with Gabmas videos. I was like so proud of myself. I'm getting everything done. Then I get struck with my period very, very badly. And the last few periods I've had have been randomly just so intense. And I made the decision with my doctor to get on the pill. I have not been on the pill in a long time, not since like 2015. So I got on the pill to try and help my symptoms. And I got on the wrong pill. I'm not gonna say the brand name, but it made me dizzy like and so so sleepy for like two to three four-ish days and i also had obligations in new york city for a branded appearance that week anytime i had off i was just sleeping because pms starting a new medication uh, my anxiety was also really really bad sometimes i like to push myself until i really can't do it anymore and then I ended up getting like this bronchitis or this cold that turned into bronchitis. I had a hair appointment, I went bleach blonde, but then I had to do like this whole toning experience. I also ended up missing two nails when I was in New York City. So it's just been a long week. I'm finally getting adjusted to a new medication. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling more like myself. I feel like sometimes I take on more than I can during the holidays. And you know, I'm, I'm feeling better. And now that I'm feeling more alive again, I have two photo shoots later today. So one is like a sexy like Christmas present photo shoot. And the other one is like a couple's photo shoot. We're gonna do our luxury what I got myself for Christmas haul. Last night we fell asleep watching Little Women and I just felt so inspired to be like Victorian Christmas this year. So for Christmas Eve, I wanna dress like with a Victorian influence. So this weekend we're going to New Hope and I'm gonna be stopping at Love Saves the Day because I wanna find a really cute historical piece for the holiday this weekend. I can't believe it's already Christmas. I've been vlogging that it's Christmas since November 1st and I'm surprised, oh my God, not this winged liner with the shaky hand. I'm not surprised that I got sick. I feel like I always get sick this time of year. When you guys get excited for my videos, it makes me even more excited. And then I completely plan my life without regarding how I'm feeling physically. And I had some like warning signs in my body that I was like getting run down, but like I just totally ignored them. I'm sorry that for the last two weeks you guys got a vlog once a week. Look, I finally got one of these Stanley cups. This is a gift from Jelly Smack. Thank you so much, Jelly Smack, for this mug. I already know what people are gonna say about the hair, but you know, I t I've been telling you guys because I was growing out my roots, I'm either gonna eventually commit to going back to bleach blonde or I'm eventually gonna commit to just going brunette. I know there's different opinions on my hair color. This is what makes me happy right now. I love it. So here's just a shout out to Sandy, my hairstylist. I love my hair so much. Like, it's exactly what I was looking for. I wanted like an icy blonde this time, like more like snow blonde. If we want to get literal, I don't even give a fuck anymore. If we want to get literal, more like the no tears left to cry shade, not the current. Yeah, more of like an ice blonde. I feel like I've always done like the gold thing and I just, 
I wanted to try platinum, but like a cool tone this time for the winter. It's very coquette. I feel like it matches my style very nicely. Those were the updates. I'm gonna go get ready and we're gonna go get our nails done. So this is my I don't feel well OOTD. I'm wearing Shein sweatpants, a thrifted light blue banded cardigan. I think I'm gonna stay wearing this headband. I'm gonna be applying fresh cream. I can't wait till my nails are done. It's a lot of fresh cream. Gonna pump some vanilla cashmere lotion on my hands because I don't want dry hands when I get my nails done. I have a little excess, put some on my knees. I'm just gonna wear some simple platform uggies. Here's an up close of my hair and makeup, by the way. I didn't do that yet. And I'll see you guys at the nail salon. A little Dunkin' break for nails. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers! Guys, look who's doing my nails again. Hey! She's in town for the holidays, <laughs> Tina. So, my Dunkin' didn't come with a straw. Luckily, I brought one of these, like, to go with. So, that was very convenient. Yeah. I can't believe they didn't give you a straw. Cheers. <laughs> Finally home. I wanted to show you guys now that it's dark out what the Christmas lights look like around the pink door. Johnny did these for me yesterday and I'm just so obsessed with it. I felt like this is what was missing the whole Christmas season. I love it so much. I feel like it just looks so cozy from the outside in. And yeah, I'm gonna head inside. I'm running behind for my Christmas photo shoot. All my Christmas presents are in here, so it's such a mess. But I like to turn on this tree from the inside so you could see it lit up on the outside because this window faces the front. So I like when people can see my land of sweet tree. I leave this in here year round. I feel like it just goes so well with all my vintage costume decor. Just so cute. So I gotta go touch up my hair and makeup again because I'm running behind. I'm supposed to meet Charles at his studio and his house to do like my little like lingerie Christmas photo shoot. I wanna post them on Christmas Eve. This lip mask, guys, it literally tastes, smells, and feels so good. It's vanilla from Bath & Body Works. Sometimes I like to wear this as a lip gloss for shoots. This is the body oil I got in Can France. It smells like, it smells like orange, vanilla, almond. So good. So I'm gonna lather up my body with this. I got my cute little bow lingerie and then Louboutins and a red Chanel. I just wanted to be cute this Christmas Eve on Instagram. There's a lot of texture. Oh my gosh, this reads so well. Look at like the little glitter. Whoa. That you see. When you go see this way, it looks like fairy lights. Okay, step forward. Yeah. Yeah, this light is like too Yeah. Can you go a little bit towards? Yeah. That's good. It's seven in the morning. I can't sleep, so I'm gonna wrap Christmas presents because I'm going to New Hope today. I'm talking quiet because I'm not the only one in the house sleeping, but we're going to New Hope today and I'm on the hunt for like a Victorian Christmas Eve outfit. I want to go to Love Saves the Day. I mentioned this in the beginning of the vlog. I'm just going to make that its whole separate video, but after I see like my family and friends, I'm going to do like this cute little Victorian thing here right in front of my fireplace, like just so cozy. 
so I'm really excited for Christmas Eve and I just got a notification from Nana Jacqueline that my Christmas outfit is on its way. I'm super excited for you guys to see that. I don't know why I'm ranting about that right now. I'm gonna go pour myself some coffee and then I'm gonna start wrapping some Christmas presents, especially make the most of... I have to change that battery, but I wanna make the most of people being asleep. I don't know what else I need to get other people or if there's like more things to add to their gifts. So I'm just gonna start wrapping some gifts and then get ahead on some editing. Before I go to New Hope today, I'm gonna give you the long awaited what I got for Christmas haul. I wanna play like Christmas Barbie music if that's even a thing. Yeah, it is Barbie Christmas songs. I'm so bad at wrapping. I'm literally trying this year. <laughs> like that. Well, I just finished my hair and makeup. I'm getting ready to go to New Hope. I still have to pack and I'm gonna show you guys what I got for Christmas this year. I went a little crazy, but I'm really excited. You guys know that I'm gonna be reusing this bag to decorate in this closet because it's just so beautiful. So I, oh, my water that I got when I was there. So I got two items. So the first item I'm gonna show you guys, I actually teased on my Instagram. I've been looking at these shoes for about a year. Those of you who remember, like back in summer 2022, I vlogged at Asian Provocateur and I was like, I need these. So I got them for myself this Christmas. I love these shoes. They are not only gonna look so cute in my closet, like on display, these dress up a robe so nicely. I feel like they're cute to go out, but I'm gonna be very overprotective over these. Um, I don't want these to get ruined, so I'm only gonna wear them to like nice events or, you know, just have them on display. Or if I'm having like a photo shoot, these are shoes I've thought about for like a year. Then I got myself a little treat. I love getting myself expensive underwear once in a blue moon. They're so cute and cream they have rhinestone embellishment and a rose i love the cream bows obviously not going to be trying this on but you get it i'm gonna save my winter luxury bag for last um in this haul but the next item i'm gonna show you is a jessica silva set this would look so cute with my new shoes but look how beautiful oh my gosh this is gorgeous i'm in love I might just have to wear this set for Christmas Eve with my shoes. I'm just so obsessed with this set, like the detail that was put into this. I love the underwire silhouette and it laces up the back and the big puff sleeves, all like the cute girly 80s vibes. I'm in love. And I got goodies from Stony Clover. I'm actually going to LA like right after Christmas. So this is really cute overnight bag to take to LA. I love that you could customize it and get your name on these items. I love how this mimics like a vintage hat box. I'm definitely gonna be moving my makeup bag to this round bag because I just feel like it'll fit more and it's just so cute. It's like a little vintage hat box. This is a real vintage hat box. And here's the Stony Clover cosmetic bag on top. Like they look so cute together. I love like the garland, the bows. This collection was very thought out. This is I think the Christmas in Palm Beach collection. I also got another cosmetic bag. I think I'm gonna put like hair supplies in here. I love the bow stitching this year. And speaking of bows, I got one. I want to wear this today. This is so pretty. I love how it emulates like a palm tree in the design, but it's still somewhat holiday. I believe this is going to be my Christmas Eve nightgown if I don't find a Victorian one today. 
When I saw this, it reminded me of the Nutcracker Ballet, like a Clara nightgown. It looks like a ballet nightgown. It's just gorgeous. Literally sugar plum fairy. I don't know. I couldn't tell if this is truly vintage or handmade, but regardless, it's just so unique and good quality. And I just love chiffon. I love sleeping in chiffon. And last but not least, I'm opening my new bag. It's from Mew Mew. I got myself a Mew Mew bag for holiday 2021. So I love how I keep going back to Mew Mew for holiday, but they really do have the best holiday collections. And I just love the box too. My favorite shade of pink. I haven't seen her since I bought her. <sighs> Guys. I know she's small, but she fits a phone <laughs> and lip gloss and cards. I feel like that's all I need to go to an event. She is just so beautiful. As soon as I walked into the store and saw her, I knew she was gonna be mine. I haven't done that in a while where I just like walk in and I'm like, yep, taking her. That's what happened with this bag. And actually, they told me I was the first person in the New York City store to buy this bag that it just came in. So I just felt like it was meant to be. And you guys know how I am with my babies. Like they mean so much to me. I've been a collector since I started YouTube. Oh, it looks so good with my nails. I need to take a pic. She's going under my tree until Christmas, I think. I just love her so much. Um, but that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm sorry that I was just like so behind. I need water. Where's that water? I'm sorry I was just so behind with vlogging. But cheers to the new year. So I'll see you guys. Hopefully we find a Victorian dress today. I'm really excited. I love you. And I'll see you in my next Gavis vlog.